Hi, I'm Nancy B from Nancy B Science Club. Here's a funny question for you. Does a raw egg float? You can try this experiment at home, but just make sure you have an adult there to help you. Today I'm going to use this lovely decorated raw egg and a beaker of fresh water to answer the question. I'm going to take this raw egg and drop it in the water. Check it out. It sinks. But hang on, not all of the liquid on Earth is fresh water. In fact, quite a bit of it is salty water in the oceans. So let's try the same experiment using salt water. I have a beaker of fresh water and I'm going to mix a lot of salt into the water. Stir it up. Now I'm going to take another raw egg and drop it into the salt water. Check it out. The egg floats. Whether or not something sinks or floats depends partly on the size and weight of the item that you're trying to sink or float, but it also depends on the liquid that you're trying to sink or float something in. Did you notice that when I put the eggs in the beakers, the liquid overflowed? If you were to weigh the liquid that overflowed, you would find that the overflowed or displaced fresh water weighs less than the egg and the overflowed or displaced salt water weighs more than the egg. What's interesting about all this is that it means that if you go to the ocean, you will float higher in the ocean than you would in a freshwater lake. And if you're ever lucky enough to visit the Dead Sea, which is one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth, you'll find that you float really well there. Check out this photo of somebody floating on the Dead Sea. Try this experiment at home and share your results with us at facebook.com educationalinsights educational insights. Thank you for watching.